And if you're the Cleveland Cavaliers, and, and, and that's what you want, you want these young players to develop, but you also want them to develop learn the game right. A really strong finish by Josh Okogu and behind his back to set up the drive. Reminding the coaches, I can handle the ball a little bit. I can score as well. Cavaliers lead it 12-10. And, and, and I had to explain to my wife when she came to visit while I was in a room with a pole. <laughs> it's Diop had 17 points in that first game. Seibert on the drive, and it's swatted by a Kogi. I think the big thing is you look at this Minnesota team and you see pieces. You see Wiggins, you see Cat, you see young, talented players. Say soccer players, professional basketball players, in team sports, among the mo most shape you need to be in around the world. And Adams playing in his first summer league game after sitting the last one out with a toe injury. And this time, Jordan Cyber gets blocked by a Kogi across the baseline. Terrific footwork. He's explosive off the ground. And Kogi working against Luke May. Took him off the bounce and finished with the right hand. Oh, nice play right. by Josh. Good sub here. Yeah, he came up limping. After making that layup, here's Jop on the baseline. Extra pass. And the bucket good. McLaughlin with the three. Jop in the face. Here's Josh Kogi from deep. And the second year player on the Georgia Tech cans it. None had it swatted. Here's Mitch Creek from Minnesota. Kogi fakes the three. Back to Creek. Beautiful offense by the Wolves. By, uh, by all means, you know, this, this game is far from over. And they understand that in order for them to compete, they're going to have to do it on the defensive end of the floor. 7 0 run, and that was a Kogi into Mitch Creek. Minnesota Timberwolves, uh, the Jimmy Butler situation finally resolved with the trade to the 76ers. Reed inside and one. Got it to go. Watch this no look right here. Bang. And then watch the finish by the big fella. That's power right there.